Yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering. Uh, it's got power, but it's, it's good. 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 <laughs> you know, if those are big, um, those, you know, those little islands or whalebacks or whatever they are, whatever they're made of, they're going to beckon. Yeah. And people want to be in contact with the water. But, you know, it's not what it's if, yeah. as long as if it doesn't have 10 feet of muck underneath it that you can stuck in, then it might be it's okay. And Joe, I thought, you know, the approval was balancing, you know, all these different proposals that have been done over the years. Yeah. And, and uh, can we go to your yeah. design, Joe? Eventually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like back in the day, playing the Nintendo, and playing the fighting games, and you're like, all right, hitting, yeah. hit, hitting that one, hitting that one button over and over. Escape. Scroll. Yeah. Yeah. So many better ways to do this. There's that few slides. Where are you? Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's only 220 slides. That's it. <laughs> Uh, let's see, no wonder you're going through some of them a little fast. Uh, I guess that was one of my comments. Yeah. Slow down. <laughs> your, your clock is definitely running a lot faster than our clock. A few times that a couple of you went a little fast through some of your graphics. I would have liked to have had a little more time to absorb absorb it. I think this is the one that was so they were rushing through the Yeah, I, I definitely, I, I did rush some because I, I didn't, uh, I was trying to be respectful of your time. But. We appreciate that. So there's a few things that a little bit longer that we could process. You know, yeah, I really appreciated the two kind of quadrangle like spaces you created, you know, just the one down in the office out there, the marble there, and, the, and uh, the, there was a bigger one where it was Dr. Here? Oh, yeah, there. I mean, just both of those. Because, um, you know, I don't know, I, I, I just, I have more of a sort of circulation here than association with Stockbridge right now. Mm -hmm. But that, I appreciate that as creating a lot of amenity for, I think, for the students in that area that doesn't exist there now. Your last, last perspective is very good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought that was one of the real strengths of your piece, was your perspectives were very no, incredibly well done. Yeah. I mean, it's not some of the best I've seen. The before and after. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. These before and after ones yeah. were just, you know, talk about a tool to be able to help people understand what you're doing and, and you know, make it accessible, making your design accessible. I thought the piece were And it, I think the biggest success from my perspective is that you're at the high level. You're yes. Not, you know, some, I know some of them are high looking down, yeah. like this yeah. one in particular. Where you're, this is this is how you would experience this. Yeah, I think on your edge strip, um, I, I know the land the maintenance people in my department would very much desire that to be relatively smooth, as opposed to like Belgian rock cobbles or something. Oh, oh, yeah, that, that edge. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you could you could use a flame finish granite or something. I mean, yeah, that would have good traction, but. You know, I mean, in reality, they would. It was rough. I think it's just probably an artifact of the pattern you used, but right, you know, right. that they would prefer that it be uh, a relatively smooth extension. Of the no, it could just be that all they do is plow the concrete. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's that's possible. Yeah, you don't get value out of engineering out anyway. I no, think you also I did a sort of something there. You, 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 you can use uh, concrete papers, actually. I was just in Barcelona, and uh, they had, that's what they use on the streets there. Uh, this long by about 18 inches wide, all of the sidewalks. And yeah. it, it looks like stone, but it's not. Right. And it, it's, you know, very, very small to walk on. Yeah. Um, I thought you did a really nice job of untangling the pedestrian and vehicular conflicts on this road too. Uh, only thing I was a little bump, disappointed in it, but I don't see how you can deal with it is the par access to parking lot on the north side of Moral, of, of Moral. still came off North Pleasant Street. Um, but yeah. that's, I don't see how you're gonna get there can you go any, any, way, any other way. way. So, goes but I, 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 you know, um, Oh, like, yeah, actually, that last one. Well, that's, 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 that's
which but how you handle getting into access to moral and, and the new IDP was great. Coming out of way. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh you're talking about this this access here. Is that what you're talking about? Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, uh, unless unless you take even if you take moral out, you still have such a great change between the road and the, and that service entrance that I I didn't even <coughs> I don't, I don't know that there's another way, but it, well, and also with the new fire code too, that, that, that makes it difficult because you have to have some access into the center there. But um, so the one thing with um, the sections that I think would be useful is to give some indication of the existing. So I mean, no. So oh, what yes, is yes, the width yes. of the existing stock bridge, and you know, just really the significant change that you're making in terms of narrowing and. Um, with right. planting, changing the spatial qualities of that yeah. corridor. Yeah. Yeah. The, if you want to go for extra credit, you, I can tell you that the people in Moral 2, or all the biologists, desperately want a footpath that, that goes up the hill between Wilder and the University Club uh -huh. um, because they want to take, they interview people and they want, that's now becoming their front door effectively. They're kind of turning their back on the North Pleasant Street side of the Morals. Um, because you know a lot of the entrances don't really work too well, especially the big one uh, right. up in the moral. I guess it's moral too. Moral. So, but anyway, they're 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 been asking forever for like a path. It's very hard to make accessible up there. The path between uh, Wilder and the University Club, but they would love it if you could do it. Do, do they do they do, do they walk the through there? Yeah. Is it because they, they have to walk around? People there in their interviewing. There's a lot more. You know, sort of yeah. Somewhat nice route. Yeah. yeah. Um, See, I, I would argue with that. <laughs> I would say you don't need that. <laughs> but but yeah. I mean, that's, that's me personally, because I, yeah. for me, yeah. the, especially this landscape in between is actually a nice classic lawn. <coughs> yeah. And so to interrupt that with a hardscape, to me, would do it some disservice. But I also understand accessibility issues and things like that. So. Well. Yeah. Maybe, I mean, maybe if you fix up the, uh, where the, where the parking is now south of the University Club there, if you could make that a more yeah, pleasant yeah. strip, then that might um, yeah. substitute yes. you yeah. know, you yeah. go around either side of the University Club. Right. right. I'm just saying they would love a sort of slightly nice, slightly ceremonial route. Yes. Yeah. No, so that's, that's, that's a good point. Yeah. 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 Well, Joe, I, I thought it showed that you did your homework that you really did absorb what was in all the past plans and that you really got to know this place. And this is, I think, in my mind, one of the more realistic designs I've seen, and so especially the way you phased it. Um, yeah, it was, it was great. It was really well done. Yeah. Yeah, very useful. Yeah. Well, it actually almost worked out that the road got taken out from the IDV plan because then it allowed me to keep it in and then actually be able to phase this into a lawn earlier. So, I mean, it stinks because you still have that vehicular access through there, but you can phase that first parking lot out sooner as a result. And how are you gonna do that? I'm <laughs> 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 yeah. I was hoping you were gonna do that. Well, the, the next step is fine. As soon as you build the, the hills, the hills lot. lot, the hills yeah. parking lot, the hills lot, lot. do that. Yeah. And I really only saw. I mean, the way I did it, um, there was only a discrepancy of 15 total parking spaces. Once you add the hills lot and take those lots out, so it, it really not very significant. And you could actually even make up those 15 spaces somewhere in there if you wanted to. Get to zero. It's a good argument. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'd have to walk an extra 50 feet. I know, it is very yeah. far away. It's yeah. like America. <laughs> so, are there any other questions for anybody or any other comments? Or? We're we good. Right up to the beginning, real quick. Yeah. Is that doing a party stair? I, I, I like Mainland's um, idea of these green infrastructure corridors. I thought that was a nice master plan idea. Yeah, can you just quickly flip back through some of your stuff, Milan? Yeah, there, there, there was some. Uh, <laughs> Let 
farther. I, I thought some of the some of the base mapping that you had done in the beginning was, was very effective. Did you just scroll all, all, all the way back to the beginning? So these diagrams are very effective. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought, I thought your analysis and the graphics that went along with it were all, all very well done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's far enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For this, this was one graphic I certainly appreciated, too, because it really gave you the, the big perspective and, and the big understanding of where this is in the middle in the order. So that was great. But I did think um, that as you go through, you, you had some really good graphics that tell the story. Mark, will yes. this be available? Is that yeah, we'll be submitting the report to you guys so that right. kind of really cool. the green infrastructure be helpful. Yeah. Well, it, the campus. This, this, is very, this is very timely because we are actually working to get our campus guidelines going again. It'll be nice to have this material to make sure the green infrastructure is in, well in the conversation of, of creating those guidelines. So, so thank you guys very much. Yes, this, this was a, a very good presentation. All good work. So I'd just like to quickly, so Melan, or just go through with each of you, I mean, Melan, I thought, you know, the objectives you laid out were just so incredibly concise and clear. Um, you know, there were 11 of them, but they were really spot on in terms of, I think, all the key elements and that they filtered down to then the other pieces that everybody else was doing. So that really, I think, set a great framework. Um, Joe, I mean, really nice, clean proposal, again, professional quality, amazing graphics, um, you know, that it, We've really created a, I think, a compelling reason why this corridor needs to be vastly yes. improved. Um, so kudos there. Um, Joya, uh, great analysis. I mean, the whole videotaping and uh, um, really looking at truly, you know, it went against kind of the initial assumptions in terms of where pedestrians were actually moving through that space and I think really set the framework for your whole design. So that was wonderful. The, the diagramming I thought was excellent in terms of just kind of layering on the information that just really clearly articulated. Um, you know, the only thing we can talk about is for your main space, I'd like to see just some cleaner edges. It's kind of melding in, I mean, kind of your open space and then the pathway, just giving some vertical definition to those edges, I think, and part of it is, you know, in terms of that cross-circulation, eliminating um, those possibilities and really creating defensible space within your main open area, but, you know, some really beautiful ideas. I love the light tower and the, the light going down into the, to the base area. There's some really creative thinking there. But the analysis yeah. was great, I, 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 and, and that's going to be great to be able to show people that we ought to do more of this, that kind of analysis. And uh, Ben, I really like what you, I mean, you evolved a long way in terms of this whole plunge pool idea, and you know, there's some really cool snippets here in terms of really creating a, a dynamic and energetic place, you know, thinking about energy, celebrating the whole movement of water and getting lights and other things going on. And that could be a, a really pretty amazing um, design down there in terms of you know attracting people, making them aware of the whole aspect of green infrastructure and um, celebrating the efforts that the campus is taking. And uh, like what you did in terms of, again, I think, Capping, instead of uh, trying to come up with some new method of drilling into hazardous materials to just raise it up and <laughs> uh, you know build on top of the surface and then fill in to uh, support those structures, I think you know, that's something that could really work well here. And you know, I don't know exactly what the depth of those. <laughs> 
fillings needs to be, but I think you've got more than enough material there. Um, once we finish all the building excavations on campus and dump everything there. So uh, anyway, some really nice work. Well, and I think as a team, you guys deserve some credit to pull together a, a, a really coherent presentation like this. This was really done. I, I think it's going to be a great resource for us in, in campus planning and uh, facilities to, to uh, help people really imagine what the possibilities are and to, to start thinking about green infrastructure in a much more um, positive and real way. But this is really something we need to do. And, um, this shouldn't just be out there in La La Land. I mean, this was this was this was a very useful effort for all of you guys, and so we, uh, I very much appreciate it. Thank, Thank you all for being a part of it. Great. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so Joe, maybe go down to the main office and need to get the forms oh, okay. to sign them for. Well, no, so we need to have a quick oh, conversation. Okay. <laughs> uh oh, this is my There you go, guys. But, but Congratulations. Thank you all. Great stuff, everyone. Yeah.怎么调啊结果最后一半变成我们在看妞妞<笑><笑><笑>